One of the big stories out of Washington this week was the withdrawal of former Senator Tom Daschle to be the new Secretary of Health and Human Services. He bowed out after headlines that he had not paid $130,000 in income tax. Daschle said it was a mix-up. He said he didn't know he was supposed to pay taxes on a car and driver that had been furnished to him. Was that a credible excuse? Well, here's how his friend, South Dakota Democratic Senator Kent Conrad, explained it. And we should add that when he talks of a 1099, he is talking about a tax form. I, I tell you, I, I believe if people knew the full facts of Senator Daschle's case, they'd have a much different impression than the headline, which as you described, was $128,000 of taxes not paid. The fact is, he paid hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars of taxes, but he did not get 1099 information that was accurate from his employer. And the investigator said very clearly to us in the Finance Committee, it would not have been immediately apparent to any taxpayer that his 1099s weren't right. Do you think in the end he could have been confirmed if he had decided to uh, go ahead and not take his name out of consideration? I do because most members, Republicans and Democrats, know what Tom Daschle is like and members would have known the full story. You know, the biggest part of the dollar amount, interestingly enough, is the car. The car he considered, thought was a gift. And because he got no 1099, he had good reason to believe it was a gift. Beyond that, he took 100% of the responsibility for a car, which in fact was not 100% his responsibility. Uh, his employer also used that car. I mean, the lead partner in the firm that employed him. And yet to avoid any questions about whether or not he was giving a fair distribution of the use of that car, Tom took 100% as though he was using the car uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, which was nowhere close to being the case. I have to tell you, as a former tax commissioner, the ultimate record will show Tom Daschle has ultimately vastly overpaid what he owed. I, I would guess there are people watching this webcast uh, who would say he thought someone gave him a car. Uh, not many people get a gift like that. Well, you'd have to understand the person who hired him uh, who was his business partner, a very, very wealthy man. This was not Tom Daschle's car. It was his partner's car. And his partner said, Tom, I don't use it all the time. You use it when you want it or need it. <laughs> so Tom, if you were in his shoes, it was presented in a way that you would think this was a gift. And in, because you never got a 1099 from the company, it would lead you to conclude that indeed it was a gift. There's no question that attention on Daschle was a distraction when the administration was trying to focus on reviving the economy. But did Daschle get a raw deal? Should the president have stood by him or was he right to let him go? To underline that there can't be one set of rules for Washington insiders and another for everyone else.